Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you are well. Uh, today, I would like to present to you one of the most gorgeous cactus in the world, known as Lubivia. This uh, gene is the member of the family of the Cactaceae and uh, has approximately 70 different uh, species. They are somehow either related to Echinopsis or perhaps Echinopsis is the one that is related to them. So the question still remains uh, very ambiguous, but in the future we go deep into it. That's why generally the crossbreed between Lubivia and Echinopsis is known as Lubivopsis, which there are several different hybrids that I'm going to go over all of them in the near future in other videos. But today our concentration is on this particular species that known as Lubivia is native to Bolivia and North Argentina and a part of Peru. Family is Cactaceae, as I have said, and it is a plant that is gorgeous, uh, blooming, and also it does have uh, several different form and shapes that in this video you see some of the crested one. Lubivia is a plant that loves to be the bright light area and uh, perhaps semi-sunny area and with a good high drainage. They love to be in the area that is uh, plenty of air circulation. They do, like to, to, they do not like to be in the confined environment because then they are very receptive to many diseases such as the uh, mealybugs and uh, uh, mildew and so on. However, perhaps it is always better to keep it in the area that has a very good air circulation and watering is once a week during the summer, which is they enjoy to get a lots of water. Perhaps this particular cactus is a little bit more receptive to more water during the summer than so many other cacti in the world. They uh, technically is very simple cactus to handle. They do not have too much fuzz, too much uh, uh, requirement for you to keep them. The flowers are very beautiful and generally they last about three to four days. They open during the day as you see on the screen and they close during the afternoon and the next day start opening. And if there is no any watering during this process, perhaps the flower lasts longer. So during the flowering, do not water it. Let the flower open and closes during the different days. And then after that, if it was required to be watered, water it. They like to get fertilized, so make sure you fertilize them very properly. The best fertilization for this cactus is 20, 20, 20, which you have to mix one teaspoon per one gallon or half a gallon, which is good enough. This plant has a very good method of propagation. As you see, there is lots of pops on this plant that you can separate it and, uh, and propagate it. Most of the time when you're separating the pops, they all, they all have their own roots. 
Sometimes if they don't, you can always use the root hormone and keep it in the moist soil and keep it shady area, warm area, and they start growing. However, one of the most important things about this plant that I have to say to you, that this particular cactus, it cannot be cut to be propagated. Use the pop, or you can use the seed. However, as you see here, the flowers is drying out. There is no any sign of the seeds. But sometime here, you see there is a sign of the seeds. Because you see the, the flower is dried, but the bottom of it is very thick. And mostly, look at here, right here. I want to show you exactly what it is right here. It's a seed pot. So pollination of this uh, cactus is very easy. You bring the pollen from one flower to another flower. And then from this one to the center of it. See? It's very, very easy. I want you to see inside of the flower. Right here. Sometimes this plant takes a journey of become crested like this, which is a different shape. This is a biological uh, changes throughout the life of the cacti that makes this kind of shape to appear, which is very, very interesting. And even though when they are in this kind of shape, they're still blooming, this just went out of the flower. So there is a chance that they're coming back more, which is right here. However, it is very interesting and beautiful and kind of rare. Some of the variety, honestly and truly, it is not easy to find. And the crested one generally is very pricey and valuable. I like to name some of the variety of this particular cacti. Some of the varieties of Lubuvia look similar to each other but they are actually different. The first one is called Lubuvia vintriana. The second one is called Lubuvia backbergi, which is this one on the screen. The differences between these two is very obvious if you concentrate on the flowers. This one is called Lubuvia densispina crested, which I showed in my prior video, episode number 55. Please refer to that video for more information on this variety of the cacti. This next crested one is called Lubuvia Tegliana crested, which is recently bloomed, as I have said earlier. This variety is known as Silvestri, which is a popular variety because of its figure-like stems. This beautiful variety is known as Karatochviliana, with its symmetrical body and unique ridges. But this group are technically all Lubuvia, and they are, as I have said, among the very good varieties. And they have very gorgeous, and they are very receptive to lots of 
water and fertilization and they bloom very, very beautifully. This is our chapter about Lubuvia that we just start and perhaps we're going to have approximately three or four more videos that is coming about this particular title, Lubuvia and Lubuvia hybrid cross between Lubuvia and Eclipses and so on. However, I hope you enjoy this video. This is uh, a beginning of the family of the Lubuvia that we are going to talk about. <clears throat> and in the future, as I have said, we're going to go more into the detail of this plant. If you like this video, please like my video and subscribe to my channel, share my channel with others, and leave me a comment if you have any questions. Make sure you find some of these. This particular variety, you, will, you may find them very easily. There are two different colored flowers. One is orange and another one is dark red. This is the red one, which a week ago was in full flower. Now there are more flowers that is going to happen later on, maybe about a week from now. These are the flowers that has dried out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope this information about Lubuvia be useful for you and you start collecting this particular species. As you see, I have a lot of different varieties that I'm going to display for you and talk about it in the future. Thank you very much and have a wonderful afternoon.